Hello guys, so today we are starting our new series of creating or writing our own operating system from scratch. Today is the first video of our series and we will learn in the first video to boot into the boot sector and write our first program to load it into the memory and execute it. So without further ado, let's get started. So what this statement does is that it creates an infinite loop to understand it more clearly first you have to understand the GMP statement which is the jump statement it tells the program or CPU to jump from one section of the code to another section it's like go to statement from C language if you have learned C language that there is a go to statement in C language which jumps you which makes you jump which makes the program jump from one section to another and the dollar represents the current memory address so uh, the whole statement, statement is interpreted as the jump to the current location which is the location or the address of the jump statement itself so that's how it creates an infinite loop times 510 <coughs> minus the current memory location minus the current section location db0 let's understand this sec this instruction more clearly Times keyword is used to execute an instruction repeatedly for the desired number of times. Here we are using 510 because the BIOS verifies the valid boot sector by reading the first 512 bytes of the device and last two bytes are filled with boot signature which is 0x55 and 0xAA. And rest 510 bytes are filled with null values by using db0 instruction which is defined bytes and 0 is for null value double dollar symbol represents the address of the current section and the single dollar symbol represents the address of the current memory location we will understand those more clearly in our upcoming videos and we will also learn about registers till then it's enough to boot our first program into the memory and execute it. So let's compile our program. We are using NASM NetWise Assembler, NetWide Assembler which is perfect for Intel based 32 bit and 64 bit processors. And for running we are using QEMU which emulates various types of machines from MIPS to Intel and IBM processors. Because my PC have a 64-bit Intel i3 processor, so we are going to use uh, QEMU hyphen system hyphen x86 underscore 64 machine. It's a 64-bit Intel based virtual machine. If you see booting from hard disk, then our program worked perfectly. But if you get any error or if you have a 32 bit based machine then you can use or you can pass the argument M with the value 32 which tells the machine to run in a 32 bit architecture mode. So let's try to print something onto our screen. So for printing on the screen we have to load the higher 8 bits of the accumulator register with the 0x0e which tells the CPU to go into the teletype mode which is used to print on the screen. And then we have to load the lower bits, lower 8 bits of the accumulator register with the character, with the with our character. In our case, we are loading it with the character A, which is the hexadecimal value for 65. And then we have to call the interrupt routine 10H, which holds the program and tells the CPU to access the resource which is a screen in our case the 10h the screen resource and print our text on the screen we can repeat these three lines to print our word and multiple characters on the screen
So we have successfully created our first operating system which simply prints our desired text on the screen. I know that we cannot call it an operating system but hey we are new to this shit so it's our operating system. So that's it for the video guys. I will try to upload the next video as soon as possible. Namaskaram.